In the 1970s, New York graffiti, rapping, and breaking became the prime expressions of a new young people subculture. There's the acrobatic body language of dances like breaking. <laughs> Specifically, power movers have completely redefined what it means to be strong and even what it means to be healthy. But many of them do not yet realize their true value. And so too does society, especially the world of fitness, health, and education, undervalue their incredible contribution. With power moves training even rehabilitative in many ways and part of my personal physical therapy post-surgery from a torn bicep. Our story begins in the burned out dwellings of the Bronx, where kids from all nationalities arose like a phoenix and breathed creative, athletic life into multiple generations of youth, I being one of them. And not only that, but in a way like Robin Hood, they took high level skills usually only practiced by the elite and turned them into mere basics for which kids on YouTube from Brazil now hold world records. Far from party tricks or antics to get attention at the club on the weekend, the movements demonstrated by power movers are both awe-inspiring as well as demonstrative of full body mastery, and there are five movements that create the foundation for true, all-encompassing flexibility, strength, speed, and power that can be trained in your own living room or garage, and it's carryover into sports and even life, like martial arts, jiu-jitsu, or having the awareness for a slip and fall can be life-changing. These movements are essentially, at their core, hand balancing, put into powerful motion, accordingly labeled power moves. Thus, the six hand balancing positions and the ten moves from bodyweight strength that we've discussed in other videos are just basics. Like a statue, they are static and therefore the foundation. The strength is there, and adding movement, speed, and power turns that strength into power moves. The flare is the single best bodyweight skill physiologically and biomechanically. It requires not only true core strength, but also flexibility, mobility, leg strength, and upper body power that no other form of fitness builds. To build a flare, one must build core strength in the rectus abdominis, transversus abdominis, iliacus, and psoas in order to lift oneself into the planche and V positions. And one must have the tricep, pectoral, and deltoid strength to be able to shift between low one-arm handstands on either side. The flare can be extremely frustrating to learn, but it is the best bodyweight exercise par excellence. It is an A-level skill in gymnastics, yet a young b-boy power mover in Brazil holds the record for the most revolutions. And the amount of strength and endurance that flare training generates is beyond description. To learn them, one must rewire both mind and body, for they require movement from the body that the body just isn't used to, but is in fact designed for. One may learn these in stages, practicing each shape and then turning them into movement for which usually around 3,000 repetitions are necessary in order to develop proficiency. The lifelong benefits of learning flares as well as the following power moves are simply priceless. In fact, flares were the very first item on my checklist to achieve post-surgery for a torn bicep tendon, which took six months of recovery to accomplish, but well worth the effort. That felt good. The second of these power moves is the windmill. This is probably one of the most famous moves. It too is an A-level skill in gymnastics, and it requires tremendous flexibility through the leg adductors to learn. It also requires tremendous twisting strength from the obliques. It is common because it is low impact enough to learn without serious risk, and the easiest to get a few revolutions within a month or two of training. Windmills too require rewiring the body and mind through a few thousand repetitions to build the overall physical strength. The third power move, rising up from the ground, is the handstand circle. Like we discussed, handstands should be basic to human movement, and they in fact are the foundation for training strength. They are also an A-level skill. While not as frustrating to learn as flares, entering into them properly requires just as much work to make them smooth. Imagine shoulders and trapezius that can support your entire body, allowing you even to briefly enter into one-arm handstands with each step carving the circumference of the handstand circle. The fourth move, the swipe, taps the foot to the ground for each revolution of the handstand circle. Although this can be done close to the ground, a true swipe 
will raise the hips high enough to be able to pop back into handstand circles. This power move requires tremendous twisting strength from the obliques, as well as ballistic strength through the entire torso, as well as the arms and legs. Just like flares and windmills, this can be done for high volume with rest in between for high level cardio training that nothing else can match. And here we go. This is that, that air flare. It'll happen right after the first one. So cool. Right there and there. <laughs> it's effortless, isn't it? It looks so easy. And it, it is not. This is the next power move. Historically, it was first called an air track because it was similar in mechanics to the track, a head spin done around the circumference of the head. As far back as 1984, the first air track was ever done by a b-boy, far before it was even included in the gymnastics code of points at an extremely high level of d-value. Through the decades, the air track went through many evolutions, also being referred to as an air swipe and air flare, with an immense number of variations as can be seen in a different video we made here. This is the magic of power movers, their imagination and relentless training to discover what the human body can do and pushing their own bodies to the limits and beyond. The biomechanics and technique differ from person to person depending on things like arm to leg to torso ratio as well as shoulder structure with three main shoulder angles of approach, the open or hollow back form, the neutral or pipe form, and closed or planche form. As such, the air track is the quintessential strength skill of hand balancing and all of body weight strength for that matter. It is the culmination of flexibility, mobility, and strength through the entire structure of the shoulder and requires immense flexibility and strength through the entire spine and torso, no matter what angle at which it is executed. Power moves training is one of the highest levels of strength and skill attainable and increases in difficulty exponentially as a person increases in size. Its sheer complexity in terms of anatomy and biomechanics, as well as its contribution to overall mobility of the human body, puts it at a level of great importance even for rehabilitation and physical therapy. And in learning this, you'll develop some of the highest levels of strength, skill, and confidence you've ever known. If you like this content, crush that subscribe button and start training by clicking any of the links below. And I'll see you in the next video.